Advertisement Rebecca Zamoa opens up about suffering a miscarriage in an emotional new video. The YouTuber, 36, and her husband Matt Slays reveal the news on her channel in an upload posted Saturday, telling her 10 million subscribers that she suffered the miscarriage nine weeks into her pregnancy. In the tear-filled announcement, Zamolo explains that this is one part of our life that we haven't really shared with anyone. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow Follow and Yell get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notification. Four years ago, Zamolo underwent surgery to have her colon removed, a life-saving procedure that, in turn, makes it harder for her to Matt and I have always wanted to have a family. That's been a dream of ours forever, she says, adding that they began IVF treatments a year ago. Zamolo recalls the IVF process and finding out she was pregnant, sharing emotional footage from throughout the first Slays recalls feeling excited about the pregnancy news, adding that they didn't know what would come. Days later they learned she had a chemical pregnancy, and early pregnancy loss. They moved forward with another round of IVF. She had an implantation the week after Thanksgiving and found out she was pregnant. I wanted to tell everyone, I wanted to tell you guys, she tells her viewers. But, obviously, they say don't say anything. Celebrities who've bravely opened up about their miscarriages in the hopes of helping others. Zamolo says they revealed the pregnancy news to her mother and sister, who has previously offered to serve as her surrogate, over the holiday. The fact that I was able to get pregnant was so exciting and to know that my body could hold a baby, a human, in it, she said. The couple learned of the heartbreaking news during the week 9 ultras. I didn't see a flicker, she recalls of this game. I was like, how come there is no flicker? I instantly had a gut. I was like, something is wrong. That moment, it was like it was all this whole plan, this whole pregnancy was over, says Simona. We weren't even expecting this at this point. Our chances were like less than 6% of a miscarriage at this point, and my levels were so sweet. We were caught off guard. Everyone was in shock, she recalls. I know you're not supposed to blame yourself, but in like, was there something I did? I was Zimolo then explains why she felt it is important to share their experience with fans rather than hide the emotional reality. It's almost like, as a woman, you just feel like you're not worthy if you can't bear a child. I started thinking about how I've connected with so many of you, and how much I appreciated the connection once I I was thinking about it and I got angry. It was like, society tells us as women that we have to keep this private, even the husband. We can't talk about it, so you have no support system. You feel all alone. Now starting back at zero, she says she will continue sharing their story because she needs the support. Hopefully there will be a happy ending, but maybe we don't know what that is, says Simone. Later adding, our journey is not over. We're just starting, and we're going to be sharing this journey with you guys. Honestly, making videos has been such a lifesaver this year with everything going. It was the one escape where you can just have fun and you don't have to be celebrating their sixth wedding anniversary in May. Zamolo penned a sweet message to her younger self, saying, Has going to be the father of your children one day soon, she wrote at the time, So little Rebecca, always remember that no matter what, you deserve to have a mat, and yell one day, so don't settle for anything less. Days before revealing her miscarriage to her followers, she wrote on Instagram, Would you reveal something personal even though it made you vulnerable to the world if you knew it could help others? In the comments section, Slays wrote, You are the strongest person I know.